Hello everyone, welcome in 11 CHE. In this video, we are going to discuss about isobaric process. Okay, what is the isobaric process? Now, first we understand that what is the meaning of isobaric, right? So there is two words. The first one is iso and the second one is baric. So iso means equal and the baric means the pressure. Means we are going to talk about equal pressure process. Got it? Now, what is the definition of isobaric process? So in thermodynamics, a process in which pressure of a system remains constant is called an isobaric process. Okay, that means during a process, if the pressure of a system remains constant is called the isobaric process. Got it? It is also known as constant pressure process. Okay means if our system's pressure is constant during a process so we can say that this is a isobaric process or constant pressure process now we will see the indicator diagram for the isobaric process or we may say that the pv diagram right so let's see it here you can see that this is the pv diagram for our isobaric process got it here you can see that uh, like uh, this was my initial condition and or initial state and it was my final state got it here you can also see that the pressure is p and like in the initial state my volume was vi and here in the final state my volume is vf okay so during the process from initial state to final state my pressure is constant it is not going to change but my volume is going to change my volume is going to change from vi to vf okay now you will see that this is my area under the curve okay when i draw the graph so you will find that this is my area under the curve and this area under the curve will help me to find the work okay like this is the rectangle and the area of the rectangle is p v okay and here you can see that this v is a change okay this v is a delta v so i can simply write here p delta v means v2 minus v1 got it we will also see we will also discuss about this w when we will talk about the first law of thermodynamics for isobaric process later okay so this is the pv diagram for the isobaric process now now we will see the example example or realistic example for the isobaric process like when we will say that this is the isobaric process system okay we will see it here you can see that this is my system okay and in this system there is a there is a gas okay there is a gas in the system and this gas is like uh, hold by the piston okay and this piston has a mass that mass is a m okay and we can say like this piston is a massless or frictionless and here one thing that the pressure p which is exerted by this like gas or the molecules on the piston okay like we can say that and the second thing is here we can also say that the there is atmospheric pressure that is downward on the piston we can also say that that is the atmospheric pressure right and when we will when we will do the force balance so we can simply say that the downward force will be equal to the upward force okay now what are the downward force on the on this system so you can simply say that mass into gravity okay, uh, acceleration due to gravity will be act downward plus this atmospheric pressure is also acting on the piston okay so p atmospheric into area area of the this piston okay equal to upward force okay so what will be the upward force this gas molecules which is like acting upward so this will be p into a got it now when i'll divide this equation by this area so what i'll get i'll get the value of my p and the value of p will be m g divided by a plus p a okay so here you can see that this is the formula of p and this p we are, we are going to talk about 
so this p okay we are talking about this p and this p is a mg by a plus p a okay so here you can see one thing that this p is independent of temperature and volume means whether our temperature or volume is changing or not changing it does not affect this pressure okay but when this mass will change then mass of the piston will change then this pressure will change got it okay now let's see here my system okay this was my initial condition okay this was my initial condition and now this is my final condition okay so at this initial condition my volume will be vi and at this final condition my volume will be vf okay the mass is same okay so the pressure will be same got it and here you can also see that when i am supplying the heat here so what will happen the kinetic energy will increase so my temperature and my volume will increase got it but my pressure is not going to change i hope you understand that what is the isobaric process now now we will see the and here is one more thing like we have studied the charles law okay so according to charles law what we say we say that volume is directly proportional to temperature at constant pressure when the pressure is constant then the volume is directly proportional to the temperature the same is happening here okay now now we will discuss about the examples of the isobaric process so what are the examples of the isobaric process in the daily life so there are two examples which i am telling you okay so the first example is the boiling of water into steam okay and the second example is the freezing of water to ice how like let's see here suppose this is my pan okay and in this pan there is a water okay and i supply the heat suppose i am supplying the q amount of heat here and in this q amount of heat what will happen that after some time this water will evaporate okay when this water will evaporate so like its vapor will go upward okay when this vapor will go upward so what is happening here its volume is going to change the first it volume was vy now its volume will be vf got it as well as its temperature is also changing or increasing so but its pressure is constant and the pressure is at atmospheric means the pressure is at atmospheric right there is a atmospheric pressure got it so this is the example of isobaric process in a daily life got it so let me in the comments box more example more example of isobaric process which you see in your daily life example okay now now we will discuss about the ideal gas relation so we know the ideal gas law that is pv is equal to nrt okay okay if i talk about the one mole then this will be pv is equal to rt okay for one mole okay let's assume that my process is isobaric now what will happen v by t will be r by p okay and it will be constant okay this will be the ideal gas relation for isobaric process v by t is equal to r by p is equal to constant okay this is the ideal gas relation now we will see the pvt relation for isobaric process like we have studied right now v by t is equal to constant okay now let's assume that my process is going from initial state to final state okay now what will happen and we can and i can also say from one state to second state so what will happen there will be the formula will be v1 divided by t1 is equal to v2 divided by t2 and it will be constant i hope you are getting my point okay this is the very very useful like formulas when you will solve the thermodynamics problems got it so this is the pvt relation for isobaric process now now we will discuss about the first law of thermodynamics for isobaric process when the pressure is constant okay 
सो वट इज द फंडामेंटल इक्वेशन फॉर फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स डेट इज डी यू इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू माइनस डी डब्ल्यू ओके दैट इज द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन हियर दिस डी क्यू मीन्स हीट इज सप्लाइड टू दिस सिस्टम ओके सपोज दिस इज माई सिस्टम ओके सपोज दिस इज माई सिस्टम सो आई एम सप्लाइंग द हीट हेयर दैट्स वाई दिस इज अ पॉजिटिव और वाई दिस इज नेगेटिव बिकॉज सपोज देयर वॉज माई सिस्टम ओके इनिशियली माई सिस्टम वॉज देयर नाउ माई सिस्टम इज देयर ओके दैट इज माई फाइनल कंडीशन सो वर्क इज डन बाय द सिस्टम ओके सो दैट्स वाई दिस इज माई नेगेटिव पॉइंट ओके सो नाउ वेन आई इंटीग्रेट इट सो वट आई गेट आई गेट डी यू सॉरी डेल्टा यू इज इक्वल टू क्यू माइनस ओके वट विल हेयर हेयर विल बी पी डेल्टा वी ओके वी स्टडीड इट अवेलियर राइट how this is p delta v okay i also tell you like i can also tell you that for what is work work is a force into displacement here is what is the displacement suppose my displacement is delta y okay so what is the force force is a pressure into area and pressure is constant into delta y okay and this y is like we are taking this y as now what i can say i can simply say p area into this is suppose my m okay i am taking the height so what will here it will be my volume and the change in volume so this will be the formula for the delta v got it my point what i want to say i am simply saying that suppose i know my pressure will be constant for the isobaric process that is p and my volume is going to change from initial state to final state that's why p into volume that is v will be my work okay now here you can see what is what will be the formula for q the formula for q will be delta u plus p delta v okay now there is there is one term as well which we will also like come into the picture that is enthalpy okay so what is the enthalpy basically enthalpy is a summation of internal energy plus product of pressure into volume okay when i like when i'll take the differential so i'll get dh is equal to du plus d pv okay when i'll further expand it so i'll get du plus vdp plus p dv okay for the isobaric process this term will be zero okay so what i'll get i'll get du plus p dv okay so okay when i'll integrate it when i'll integrate it so what i'll get from initial state to final state what i'll get i'll get delta h is equal to delta u okay plus p delta v okay and i have seen this formula here okay so i can simply say that q is equal to delta h and what is the formula for q the formula for q will be here m c p okay delta t okay now uh, it will be dt but when i like here here is a dq right so it can be written as m cp dt okay when you will integrate it so it will become delta t that is t2 minus t1 got it so the formula for the change in enthalpy will be m cp delta t so i hope you understood that how we find the like the change in enthalpy change in internal energy q and w for the isobaric process okay so if you have any doubt in this video you can let me in the comments box okay and if you have any doubt in thermodynamics you can also let me in the comments box thank you for watching see you soon